The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la la la. So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm sharing with you some quick and easy busy day meals for those days, you know, when your schedule is just crazy and you just wanna get home and eat. Today, I'm heading out the door early. This morning, I'm having my annual mammogram done. I'm having my second COVID vaccine, and then I'm heading to Walmart for a few groceries. So if you are new here and you like DIY, cooking, and organizing videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I headed to Walmart to pick up some groceries after my appointment today. I really didn't need very much, but I did need to pick up just a few things for one of the recipes that I'm making today. It's like a vegetable taco soup, but I'll show you that recipe in just a little while, but let me first show you what I picked up at Walmart. So I've been using some ground sweet Italian sausage for this recipe. I think it adds so much more flavor than like a ground beef or a ground turkey. And it does add just a little bit of spice. I also needed some frozen corn for the soup. I'll probably use the majority of this 12 ounce package. Now I already had the majority of the vegetables that I'm going to be needing for this recipe in the fridge, but I did need some zucchini, red and green bell peppers. I literally put these three vegetables veggies in almost everything that I make. They're like my holy trinity, you know, along with a little bit of chopped onion. I think they are the perfect addition to almost any recipe. You know, the same can be said for white mushrooms. Now I always use that restaurant style salsa in my soup. While I was at the store, I picked up another container of Locatelli Romano cheese, some pepper, and I found these two marinades from Lowry's. One is an herb garlic and the other one is for steak and chops. And I thought we would give these a try when we barbecued. I picked up some deli roast beef and provolone cheese for hot roast beef sandwiches later on in the week. I love these little guacamoles and I have some Rotel tomatoes, some beef broth, and some tomato sauce. So I picked up two loaves of my husband's favorite pumpernickel bread. I also needed a new Dawn Power Wash. I don't know if you guys have tried this stuff yet or not, but it really does do a great job. And then I got this huge container of ranch dressing. My daughter literally eats everything with ranch dressing. So that is my small Walmart haul for you today. I'm going to put all this stuff away and then we are gonna get cooking. So the first recipe that I'm sharing today is for chicken piccata. Now you may not think that this is a busy night meal, but it is really quick to put together and so delicious that this would be a perfect recipe to have on a holiday or to share with friends. So the first thing that you are going to need, of course, is some thin sliced chicken breasts. You can slice your own and just flatten them to about a quarter inch thick. You'll also need some flour, some seasonings. I like to use Mrs. Stash, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I also add a good dose of cayenne pepper. You'll need some capers. Now I am not a big fan of capers, but I do add about a teaspoon, you know, just to get that good briny flavor into the mix. You'll also need some white wine. I like to use Barefoot. It's my favorite brand to use for cooking. You'll need about a half a cup of water, a quarter cup of lemon juice, about three tablespoons of butter, and some fresh chopped parsley. In a large saute pan, add a little bit of olive oil and butter. Season your chicken really well on both sides and then dredge it through the flour a couple times. Shake off the excess and then you're going to saute your chicken for only about five or six minutes on each side because this chicken is so thin it really doesn't take long at all. 
Once the chicken is lightly browned on each side, remove to a plate and cover with a little bit of foil. Now in your hot saute pan, pour the white wine and deglaze your pan. Basically, this is just scraping up all those little brown bits from the bottom of the pan and just let the white wine cook for a few minutes. Add as many capers as you want to the pan. I added about a teaspoon, and then you want to squish them a little bit to release the brine. Add your lemon juice and your three tablespoons of butter. Let this cook a little bit until it thickens up. Then you're just going to add the water, bring it back to a boil, and add back your chicken to the pan. Sprinkle with the fresh parsley, and you are done. Today I've paired it up with some simple white rice and broccoli, but it is also excellent over pasta or orzo. It's just one of our family's favorite quick meals. So this next recipe is just one of those quintessential quick meals that I have loved since I was a little kid and it has always been a part of my monthly meal planning and that is Sloppy Joe's. Now this meal is one that you can use to feed a lot of people on very short notice and it's always good. You can serve it with chips or mac and cheese or a side salad, either way it's perfect. To start off, you are going to need one large chopped green bell pepper, three pounds of ground turkey or ground beef, whichever you prefer, and a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. Start off by browning your meat, and when you are a little more than halfway through, go ahead and put in your chopped green pepper. Continue to cook until the meat is cooked through and the peppers are soft. Then add your 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. So I like to put a lot of stuff in my Sloppy Joes. I just think the more you add to it, the better it tastes. So I like to add a lot of hot sauce, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce. Of course, I add my garlic powder, Mrs. Dash. I like to add a lot of minced onion, barbecue sauce, and brown sugar. I bring this all to a boil and then I let it simmer for about 20 or 25 minutes and then it's ready to serve however you want. Leftovers are really good over rice or you can even use them as a base for chili mac. This next recipe is for that veggie taco soup that I was telling you about at the beginning of this video. I may have shared this recipe before, but it is really worth repeating. This soup has a ton of veggies in it and it really does get better over time. Now it may take you a minute or two to cut everything up, but it is well worth the effort. The soup freezes perfectly and is the perfect meal on a busy night. So you will need to chop two small zucchinis, a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, a small onion, several white mushrooms, and you can also include any other veggies that you have on hand like celery or carrots. In a saute pan or at the bottom of your stock pot, round your ground Italian sweet sausage. When it's about halfway cooked, go ahead and put in your veggies and cook until they are soft and the meat is cooked through. At this point for me, I always transfer to one of my big stock pots and then I add the remaining ingredients. So you're gonna be adding a can of black beans, a container of restaurant style salsa, 14 ounce can of tomato sauce, 12 ounce package of corn, a can of Rotel tomatoes, beef broth, and a package of taco seasoning. At this point, feel free to add hot sauce and adjust the seasoning for how you see fit. Bring this all to a boil and let it simmer for about 25 minutes and you are ready to serve. You can top your soup with all of your regular taco seasonings. I like to add some cheddar cheese, sour cream, and guacamole. And I always like to serve it with some whole grain tortilla chips. So 
So thank you all so much for watching today's busy day meal video. I heard from so many of you that said that you really love the cooking videos. So I will be having many more coming up for you really soon. Please join our community over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are the first to know when I upload a new video. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.